This is the first video in a four-part series showing you how to improve your website performance according to Google PageSpeed Insights. And one of the most important things you need for a fast website is a strong host. So in this four-part series, I'm going to use InMotion, and they're also kind enough to sponsor this video series. Here's a quick overview of all four videos. In this video, which is video number one, you're going to learn how to set up your InMotion hosting account and you kind of learn your way around a little bit. And I'm going to show you how to install WordPress and create a super simple website. In video two, you're going to learn how to use W3 Total Cache to make your FCP, which is the first content full paint, and LCP, which is the largest content full paint, scores as good as they can be. And these scores, of course, are provided by Google PageSpeed Insights after it scans your site. And you'll be able to apply what you learn directly to your websites as well. In video three, you're going to learn how to optimize for the lowest possible CLS or content layout shift using W3 Total Cache. And CLS is another score that Google PageSpeed Insights provides. In the fourth video, we're going to talk about time to first byte or TTFB and all the ways that you can make that as fast as possible. There are timestamps below for easy navigation. Hit the comments if you have any questions. Hit the like button if you like this video. And now let's check out our InMotion account so we can get started. Here we are on the InMotion website. If you click the link in the description down below, it will take you to this specific page. You'll see me right over here. So you know you're in the right spot. This is a dedicated landing page just for us. And I've secured the best deal I can for you with some major savings, depending on which duration of plan you choose. For example, if you go one month, the prices go up. You save 0% on WP Core, WP Launch, 20%, WP Power, 25% WP Pro. But if you go to one year, you're saving in the 70%, well, 50 and 63. But you're saving over 50% over in all of them, sometimes over 70%, depending which plan you choose. And even the base plan, something you want to pay attention to, is you have unlimited bandwidth, which means you can have as many visitors as you want. Check out any other hosting platform. Well, not any, but most other hosting platforms, and they will have limited bandwidth. They'll allow you to have a certain number of visitors before they want you to upgrade. Here, you can have two websites. As long as you don't exceed the solid state server space of 100 gigabytes, which is a lot for a WordPress site, you get as many visitors as you want on any one of these plans. And as you go higher up in the plans, your WP performance increases. You just get more resources and more tools like WordPress multi-site here, staging tools here, live chat from helpful humans, live phone and live chat support on this plan. You also have security features on the lowest plan, which is only $350 a month if you buy for one year. And notice right here it says renews at $1150. That's after one year. So if you go for a three-year plan, you're paying $370 a month and it renews at $1050 a month after three years. So the longer you go, the longer you lock in the deal for. But under security, we also have free SSLs, hack and malware protection, DDoS protection, automatic backups available. That's a paid add-on. Monarch security, I haven't used that before, but it's a security suite that InMotion provides to their customers. So once you have picked which one you want, just click on select, choose whether you're purchasing a new domain or using an existing domain that you already have bought through GoDaddy or Namecheap. I'm going to show you how to buy a domain through your InMotion account in just a minute. Just go through this form, complete these steps, and then you'll have your brand new InMotion hosting account. Once you have that, you'll be sent an email with login credentials to get into here. This is your InMotion dashboard. The most important places you're going to want to check out, or at least familiarize yourself with, is the billing area so you can keep your finances straight. You can add and remove credit cards, you can pay bills, you can view invoices. Over here, it shows when the next renewal will be, and it shows you what your term is. I've got the one year, and it's gonna renew at 305 on November 7th, 2025. So you wanna make sure you're familiar with that stuff. And a super cool feature that you probably didn't know InMotion has is a reseller account. If we go to Marketplace, I believe, yeah, right over here, you can choose to create a reseller hosting account, which means that you can pay for hosting through InMotion and have as many customers under you as you want. So if you're building websites, you want to provide hosting services for your clients and they pay you directly and you host their site, this reseller hosting is something you should really look into. And something similar is under WebPro, but in this case, the, your clients would buy the hosting themselves and have their own InMotion account. 
and you can connect all those Emotion accounts to one dashboard with this information in here. So you can manage it all for them. You don't have to deal with billing them for the hosting and making sure your reseller account is running, even though it can be very profitable if you do that. If you don't wanna do it, you can use Web Pro to manage a lot of client websites as well. So let's go ahead and install WordPress on a temporary domain instead of Emotion. So the way to think of InMotion is this is your main master account where you can manage as many clients as you want or as many of your own websites as you want through WebPro and the reseller hosting. Or you just have one client on here. You can run it any way you want. And if you click on cPanel, it's going to give you access to the hosting tools of every one of the InMotion hosting accounts and websites that you manage. In this case, we just have one. So in here, we can go down to scripts, find WordPress and click on it, or click on WordPress management over here. I'll click on this one, in fact, WordPress management. And this will list all of the WordPress installations that you have. If you want to update whatever stats are here, you can click on scan. It'll show you installations, plugins, themes, which ones need updates and all kinds of stuff to help you manage your WordPress sites. Currently, we have nothing installed. So I'm going to click on install WordPress right here. Then I will choose this temporary domain, which I can't even change. So we'll keep that one. The installation directory was forward slash WordPress. I'm just going to take that away. So the URL would be this. I'm going to call this I sell widgets for the website title. For the plugin and theme set, it shows a list right here. None will just install vanilla WordPress. Then you can go and install your own plugins and themes. If you want to see what any of these has included, just click on it. WordPress Essentials, for example. Click on this I and it's going to show you what is included when you install it. And this is a pretty good list of essentials. We've got Sitekick by Google will let us sync and connect to various Google services. WP Supercache will help us speed up our site. Yoast SEO helps us with SEO. Contact Form 7 creates a contact form. Limit login attempts reloaded helps us block people from trying to log in over and over and over again. Brute force attacks, in other words. So that's a pretty good loadout of plugins. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep website language as English. The version is the current one. The username, I'm going to change to Bjorn. Choose a weak password because it's for my videos and my demo sites. For my email, bjornwplearninglab.com. Under database, you can change the database name, table prefix, database username, and database user password, or just keep them as what was populated here, which I'm going to do. Automatic update settings. I do not want anything updated automatically. So I'm going to click on no for that and update plugins automatically. Define individually as in no. Automatic themes update. Define individually as in no, it won't do it automatically. And I'm going to keep those as that because automatic updates sometimes break your site. You have to do a little more management. You have to make sure you're keeping things up to date because the number one way that hackers hack your site is through outdated themes and plugins. I have a video about that in the card up above and I'll put it in the description down below. So I'm going to keep those settings as they're defined here and then click on install. Within a few minutes, our WordPress site will be installed. The installation is complete. It says here, install plugins. I think it maybe installed that kit that we asked it for, the WordPress essentials, but maybe it didn't. I'm not sure. I'm going to click on install plugins and I closed that too quickly, but uh, that was going to open a plugin search where you can search a repository and add more plugins. So the ones that we asked it to install are more than likely there. But before we log in and check it out, we see this nice card right here that shows all the information about this website. And if we had many websites installed here under WordPress management in the InMotion cPanel, we can see all this information for all of them, which is really handy having it all here. Click on plugins and it shows you which ones are installed. We can see right here whether it installed the WordPress essentials and it did right there. Also install the Kismet and Hello Dolly. You can't really stop those. Those come loaded with WordPress. But if you don't want those, which you usually don't, especially Hello Dolly. I use the Kismet on some websites to block spam messages, but Hello Dolly I never use. Click on this little garbage can right here. And it's gone. It's that easy. So earlier we talked about not enabling updates automatically because it could break your site, but even manual updates can break your site. When you click update, stuff can go sideways. It's just that you know it went sideways right then. You can Then you can restore to a backup. So that makes it handy in that way. Whereas when it's automatic, you might not know what happened. So your, your site could be affected or broken or down for a while before you find out. InMotion also provides this smart update option right down here. If you turn this on, what it will do is without affecting your production site, it clones your website. It updates everything on the cloned website, 
runs a number of checks to see if updates have broken anything, you can review the test results and check the site itself to make sure it's correct and everything works. And then you can move those updates or do those updates on the live website, which is really handy, especially for a major website that gets lots and lots of traffic. You don't want any downtime and this can potentially save you from a lot of headaches. Now we're gonna log into the WordPress site, clean out all the demo data, install the Astra theme, choose a starter template so it looks nice, and then we're gonna be ready for the next videos in this series, which are all about speeding up your website, making sure it's super fast. So all the websites in your management inside InMotion are gonna have this login link. Just click on that, and it's gonna to go to the website and log in for you. And you might get this error because we don't have an SSL and we've got this crazy demo URL right up here. In this case, I know this isn't a problem and this wouldn't be the URL you're using for a live website. And it won't let me go. It will, there we go. Click on that little link and we're into the website. Boom. So the first thing we'll wanna do is head over to posts and delete hello world. Go to pages. We can delete the sample page. We're gonna keep the privacy policy page because we're gonna want one of those. Under comments, if there's any here, just delete those. And then under settings and then general, we wanna make sure we have the site title set. You can set a tagline here if you want. This tagline is not always shown. It depends on your theme and how you set it up, but it might be shown. The title also may or may not be shown. Depends on how you set things up. You can add a site icon if you want. This is the WordPress URL and site URL. These are usually not changed just, and, that, and they're usually the same as well. So just keep those as they are. Make sure this is the correct email address for your admin. Under membership, you can allow anyone to register. What this will do is on the login form, it's gonna add a register link so anybody can sign up. This will generate a lot of spam signups. So I don't recommend you turn this on unless you actually have a website where you're selling something or giving access to your tribe, to your audience for something because it's gonna be a lot of spam. And when they sign up, this is the user role they come in on, subscriber. That's the lowest tier. So they have the least amount of privileges inside of WordPress. So that's what you want to have for anybody who signs up that way. You can choose your language, choose your time zone, choose your date format, choose your time format, choose which day your week starts on. Let me know if it's anything besides Monday or Sunday, because that'll be interesting to know if your week starts on, say, a Wednesday. When you're all done with the settings on this page, click on Save Changes. Then we head over to Permalinks. Here I'm gonna make sure that post name is selected. That's the best option for SEO. Click on Save Changes. Then we go to Reading. For the search engine visibility option, if you want traffic to your website and your website's ready to launch and you want visitors coming to see it and check it out, make sure this is unchecked. If this is checked, you are not gonna get a lot of traffic from search engines, probably zero. So make sure this is unchecked if you want traffic. If you're still developing your site and you don't want people there yet, you don't want search engines to index it yet, you can check this. I have found that to not be a very big issue, especially with the starter site templates I'm gonna show you because your website looks good right away. So there's no harm in leaving this unchecked and always encouraging search engines to index your site. Now after all that, we're gonna install the Astra theme. Let's go to Appearance and then Themes. I'm gonna choose Add New Theme. Astra is this one right here. It's one of my favorites. I'm gonna click on Install and then Activate. And we're gonna choose, let's get started with Starter Templates. This is gonna install another plugin from the creators of Astra. And it's gonna allow us to pick a predefined template for our website and get it up and running really quick. I'm gonna choose Classic Starter Templates. I'm gonna choose the Block Editor. These templates also work with Elementor or Beaver Builder. There's different sets of templates for each one of these. So whichever builder you wanna use, make sure you pick the right one on this step. I'm gonna choose the WordPress block editor. And there's also free, like these first three, and premium ones. So if you don't have the premium subscription for starter templates in the Astra theme, don't choose the premium ones. And I think there's a filter for free as well. No, there's a filter to see all the premium ones, but not a filter to see all the free ones. But all the ones that don't have this premium badge, those are the free ones. And as you can see, there's quite a few. There's also quite a few premium ones. I'm gonna choose this one right here, this electrician website. On this page, you can upload your logo. It's gonna keep the one they have there. You can update your font pairings. I'm gonna choose Lexand and DM Sans. You can change your color palette, but I like blue, so I'll keep that one. But if you did change it, this is what'll happen. 
it changes the phone number, the hover color, the background color here. Everywhere these accent colors occur, it'll change them. So I'm going to stick with the blue. Blue and blue or blue and black? I'm going to go with blue and black. Click on continue. Here we can select some more features. I'm going to keep all of these unchecked, except for the first two, which are grayed out and we can't uncheck them. Then click on continue. You can fill in this form right here, which is going to sign you up to the newsletter. You can choose to share anonymous, non-sensitive data by toggling this or not. Click on I understand and let's go. And then click on submit and build my site. Now in a couple minutes, the site's going to be complete and online and ready to rock and roll. I'm going to click on visit your website so we can see what it looks like. As it is right now, it looks pretty great. These buttons don't work. These navigation menu items do work. So there's some work to do if you want to customize it to your needs. For the purposes of this video, because we're just installing it in motion and testing site speed and improving site speed, I'm not going to customize this site in any great detail, but just know that you can, and it's not that hard. And I've got lots of videos on my channel showing you how to do just that. So now that our site is up on InMotion, I want to speed test it to get a baseline of what we're working with. So we're going to go to Page Speed Insights, click on Analyze, and here are our scores. Our performance on mobile is 78. Our first Contentful Paint and largest Contentful Paint are suffering, and this is what we're working on in the next video to fix those up. And the uh, CLS is actually pretty good. That's the third video, the Content Layout Shift. I'll show you how to, you can fix the Content Layout Shift issues if you have any, but this one doesn't appear to have any. And then the fourth video is Time to First Byte, which is also pretty solid. That's hugely influenced by which host you choose. By having a great host like InMotion, you fix Time to First Byte before it's even a problem. But I'm going to give you some tricks and techniques that you can maybe tweak that a little bit, even with a host that isn't so perfect. So if we fix the FCP, which is the 2.6 seconds, and the LCP at 5 seconds, we'll be in the green for sure, depending how well we can fix those. And there are some suggestions down here to help us do that as well. And for desktop, this is often how it is these days. Websites and hosts are so well optimized that desktop is often really good. And mobile is really where we want to focus our, our efforts. And I know what you're saying. The performance is so good because we have a page speed plugin installed because that was part of the WordPress essentials. And I actually turn that off. So if I go into the dashboard and go to plugins. We see right here WP Super Cache is turned off. And then I cleared the cache and waited a while so that this test result is clean, as in not optimized by this plugin. And what's also pretty hilarious, you saw in the dashboard right there, we've had four blocked login attempts or four failed login attempts. Let's see if we can see what those are from. Let's go to the dashboard for limit login attempts. And I don't want to do all this. Let's close that. There we go. So four failed attempts. Is it going to tell us where they're from? why they happened no i just think it's funny because it's a brand new website it's on a crazy url how is someone finding this or how is a bot even finding this just interesting how that works so in the next video we're going to fix up the fcp and the lcp it should be on the screen right now for you to click on if you got value from this video smash the like button and hit subscribe to let me know and i'll see you in the next one